Hi everyone, this is Zach here, Dryheart, and I've done a little bit of work in between. First of all, I managed to do a little more mining, and I need to wait directly to the bottom, obviously. And maybe I should work on mining that out. Oh well, I'll get to it as soon as I, uh, I'll finish mining. Set up. I did. I just went straight, and then I went a couple over and straight again. Found some diamonds. I also did another road. Nothing really exciting there, but yeah. So this is exactly what I needed. Actually, what the hell am I doing? I'm uh, uh, mining a little too much of the. Um, yeah, I'm mining a little too much of the diamonds. I shouldn't mine that much. I've got enough now. I had enough. One more was enough. I should have stopped. I'll be right back as soon as I'm at... Okay, I'm at the top. And let's see. Gonna want my reeds. I want some wood. I want what little leather I actually have have much of that stuff. Actually, I should probably go see if I got some more. I got more diamonds. Don't quite need diamonds. Four diamonds. Obsidian. I think I need to make my, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four. Oh, yeah, that's a lot more than what I need. And I think if I just add, yep, there we go. That's how you get books. One leather, three paper. More expensive, not really what I want, but... Go... Enchanting table. All things considered, where do I want my enchanting room? Probably somewhere straight off of here. That high. So maybe. Mm, annoying. I shouldn't restrict myself like that, but I will. Um, what was. I was stuck there for a second. You know what? For now, I'm just gonna place it up here. I don't really need anything fancy yet. And then, um, do I have enough books for a bookshelf? I might have enough for one bookshelf. If this is how you make them. Still. Yeah, that's how you make them. So I had enough for a single bookshelf. Yep, magical particle effects. Got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I know it's slightly damaged, but, you know. Is for the max. There's a five. There's a seven. There's an eight. Nine. Next time I get a nine, I'll take it. Don't you hate when that happens? You're clicking through something, and it's like, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that. Oh, there it is. And, uh, and I clicked again. What did I get? Efficiency, too. Suck. Yeah, well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll wait on the rest of the diamonds, anyway. Until I can get a fortune pick. Didn't really need that many of them. Or that much of that. <laughs> two and two and three and three. It's ten. So yeah, you might have noticed it's a little more lit up over there. I lit up all the little islands that are right around there. I shouldn't have brought the pickaxe. 
actually, come to think of it. Oh well. So yeah, I lit up the area, not much to it, it's just lit up, you know, because why not? Mostly it was after I worked over here, I even have a little fence over here. And uh, it's not really going to be my permanent animal farm, because I, I have something figured out with a... I say I. I, I pretty much am going to copy something I saw someone else do on a YouTube video. And I can't remember quite who did it. But it, it's just a minecart setup. But yeah, this is another thing I saw someone else on YouTube do. So yeah. A lot of things I'm going to do is going to be something someone's done. So yeah, this is a nice little setup where they'll all push, be pushed to the center, and unlike other things, they don't fly out the sides or anything magically. Gonna need to go grab another lily pad. Yeah, I also set up that because, like, I don't really have much room on the surface. Hmm, that shouldn't be there. That'll fix it. Don't really have much room on the top of the mountain, and I haven't really uh, done much mining elsewhere. So this is more of just a, hey, I need somewhere to grow some reeds. Hey, 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 don't, I'm still pressing space. Don't do that to me. And plus, it's like reeds are another thing I'm going to have a somewhat more automated system for. Not enough. Not by half. But yeah, here's one thing. I'm gonna want to do... Actually, I should do it right now since I'm here while I have the video running. Let's see. It's, um... So that'll be the bottom, I think. Yeah, that'll be the bottom, so I need to go down one more. Is this the center? No, this isn't the center, so... This will be the center. Yeah, this is the exact center. So yeah, there we go. Actually, I think I want a sign. Uh, I've got wood on me, right? Yeah, I've got wood. Oh, I was gonna make sure I got some wood. Choose for everything. Ah, yes. Science stack now. That's right. Awesome thing to add. Collect drops here. Done. There we go. Yeah, and everything will just flow to the center there. sign. There we go. A little whack your head on it kind of 
of thing, but at least you don't have as much of a chance. And here, this is um, just a, one of those, and they don't understand that they can go up it, so that's fine. And so I didn't get enough leather for another bookcase, sadly. So where do I need to put it now? One, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, four. There would work. One, two, three. Okay, that won't work. One, two, three. There would work. And I think I will put it there. Yeah, so this is just uh, me using the pattern I tend to use with sugarcane because it is the tightest, most efficient pattern to use. It's uh, for the number of water areas you have, it gets you the best, but the farm that I'm going to make won't be that good like that. It's going to be a little more inefficient, but mostly because with inefficiency comes uh, the ability to just uh, auto-harvest it. I collect a few of these so I can just have them over there. Yeah. And that's really the big thing. It's like, I can easily just tell you what the, like, pumpkins and watermelon, when you uh, push them with a piston, they uh, break. So all you have is a sticky piston uh, under the ground with a dirt block on top and then the row of vines on the one side so that they grow onto the thing and then just have a pressure plate that activates all the pistons and it pushes them up and it's like, oh, there you go. You're fine. I thought I had. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, since I'm here, I got another one. Yeah, this is mostly just uh, make it work for myself. I should really uh, just cut it here and. Uh, Go do something else, and then come back when I, um, not what I intended to do. Yeah, definitely need to work on the leather until I got a full set of, shoot, did a cow, cow drown itself. Damn it! It's not working quite right. Yeah, I know how to fix it, though. Done. There we go. Problem solved. And if it doesn't... Uh, actually, it might not. I'm gonna have to do something else if that doesn't work. Hmm. Unfortunate. Don't need that sign there, then. Can you fall? You can fall down. Okay. So, for the moment, I'm going to have to do something else. Come over here. Hmm. What will let the drops down but the cow not? I think a fence post. I think a fence post is what I need. Working. I'm going to come over here and place down that source block so it's right nearby. Take out that. You know what? Screw it. 
infinite water. Because I do not know why it's not letting me do what I want to do. That might be a problem. Drops wouldn't be able to go through it. So that won't work. Hmm. That's disappointing. What else can I make? The uh, posts with the, the cobblestone things wouldn't work because they're even bigger than fences. Huh. This is a bit of a downer. If it wasn't for the baby cows, it would be fine, I think. Though I did get... Eh, that could be from the baby cow. How many baby cows are left? That's the important bit. There's uh, one baby cow. Yeah, the baby cows are the ones that managed to get down. So, hmm. Wait, do I have a, one of those? Did I put it back? Yeah, I brought it back. Okay. Yeah, it can't be helped. You need to make some more stuff. Now I'll have two of these randomly sitting around that base because why not? And if I come here and put that like that, that will let me selectively stop it. And I think the baby cow can still fit down that. Sadly. It happens. Yeah, well, nothing perfect. I've got sheep in there. I don't really have a reason why the sheep are there. I think it's more of they were just uh, in the pen at the time, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to even bother removing them. So yeah, now I have a bunch of random stuff on me. There we go. Used up a little bit of wheat more than I needed to. But hey, no, they're like that. Do the baby cows fall down? I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna have to leave that open and uh, come back here later and see if I've got baby cows in my system, I guess. Nothing can actually get it. Okay, that's good. That'll work. Give me some wheat. Dump them around. Come over here. Whatever, they can jump around in there for a while and find out if they can fall through or whatnot. That'll work. Take care of these last couple of uh, reeds, and then I'll be back in my tower when I'm back. Okay. And it looks like I actually managed to get enough uh, meat to make another set of... another bookshelf. Which is nice, I guess. I'd much prefer, of course, to just uh, have enough for all the bookshelves, but 
You know what? One more. And there we go. That means I can go here and like... Well, I don't really want to use that because it's not really that good, but... Uh, eh, whatever. Last time the best I could find was nine. It should go up a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I never really paid attention to how many bookcases you needed and what it did. I basically only went, hmm, let's see. I need this shape, and then I'm good. Looks like ten's the best one I can get now. It happens. Whew, that was... Efficiency 2. Meh. Of all the ones, Efficiency 2. Really? Oh, here's one of these. It's 7. Oh! Of course, the stone pick is the one that gets on breaking. Herp or derp. Eh, random stuff. Actually, I'm not really hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm on normal difficulty. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Got that. Posse enchantment setup going. Got that. I really should uh, do the, uh, this bit here. Yeah, I think I'm going to see how big it's the... 3x3 three three plus 2. Yep. Okay, here I am. Hmm. I'm gonna have to leave the central staircase for now, but... Including that, 2x2 two two more. So... That. From there, yeah, okay, so. Hmm, Yeah, this is mostly just to get the, uh, basic shape out, so that I can just be like, okay. I've reached the bottom when I reach the bottom. It's like I I kind of like knowing when I've reached where I'm going. A couple of fall damage not really as important in the long run as you'd think. Hmm. Yeah, that should do. Now I'm going to go up to the top and just mine straight down a few times, so I'll be right back as soon as I Get something in front. Well, first problem reached. Huh. Does it get any smaller? No, okay. Yeah, this is relatively easy compared to some of the problems that could have uh, resulted. Uh, yeah, back to mining then. Also, in case you're interested, this is how I'm mining it. There is nothing at all going on. Except straight down. No moving, no nothing. Just holding the mouse. And once again, excitement. Hmm. That's disappointing, to say the least. Well, here's hoping that, uh. Oop, didn't want to use. It's like, the only way for me here is down, and it looks like it keeps going down, so that's fine, but... Well, first of all, I'm gonna have to end up replacing all of that with smooth stone. Also, I'm dreading the fact that I'm pretty sure there's probably a drop, even though I don't see it. Oh, wait, nah, it looks like it's pretty safe from drops, so I should be fine. Yeah, 
is slightly annoying. Also, I'm no longer doing the uh, repair thing, because now that I'm enchanting, you can't, well, you can, but it costs levels and stuff. So it's not really, I don't really consider it worth it at this point to be using the repair function, especially since I don't have a what's it yet. Because it's just going to be the one thing, and it's like, okay, there you go. So, yeah. Be back as soon as something else happens. Then, huh, found some emeralds. Interesting. And a freeze. Okay, there we go. Well, I can't say I'm mad about finding them, because it's XP, and I can use that for more enchanting. Yay! Um, there we go. Reach the bottom. I think this is bottom. Yeah, this is bottom. Where'd I end up, though? This doesn't look familiar. This doesn't look familiar at all. Where am I? Except for down. It's like, I knew that. It's not up. Where am I? I I'm lost in my own thing. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, is that the up? Oh, that's the up. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that that would explain it. Yeah, that should uh, prevent further confusion. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's not exactly something I was expecting. Well, I've got to keep doing that a few times. And I'm also going to grab some smooth stone so I can actually use smooth stone where I need to. Hey, well. Huh. Yeah, you hear that? That's a silverfish. I don't know where it is. But it's around. There we go. That's nice. The experience is good, I guess. They're ruining my walls, my goodness. There's still another one. I guess they're just randomly in the ground now. Which I'm going to vote as the worst thing ever added to Minecraft. Yes, worse than that. Yes, yes, I do mean that. Yes, it's worse than it. Anyway, I'm going to go back to mining. I've gotten quite a bit farther than I thought I would by now. Yeah, it's showing I've got some more emeralds. So I think I'm going to stop drawing off emeralds now. They're not really that special. Especially if I have visual juice right now. Well, I've got a bit done, but... It's... Shall we say, not exactly the most mentally entertaining uh, exercise. Uh, it's boring. Oh, look, Lapis. I must have not been paying attention while I was coming down. But yeah, I'm pretty much done for right now. And I don't want to leave this. It's like, it's basically 30 minutes right now. I don't want to leave this just kind of like sitting. It's like, next time I'll come back and I'll have this done. This way I can just stop right now and not have the recording program possibly mess up and lose all of what I've had so far. Which would be not so fun for me. And for you, because you wouldn't be able to see what I did. So yeah, this is Accurate Drainer, and I'm signing.